Now I know what some of you are thinking. Uh, enough with all the rambling and talking about all this crazy meditation stuff and I don't care that you work out and all that. Um, my most popular videos have been that about gear. Uh, and I'm not surprised, of course. Um, so yeah, I'm going to throw bread out into the crowd again, but of course I also enjoy the same bread. And um, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of a reflection on some of the new gear that I have uh, been testing out. I just got back from uh, a high class weekend, and I went while I was still recovering from a nasty bit of strep throat. I'm okay now, I'm more or less uh, fully recovered. Uh, you can find a link to my trip, uh, trip report slash trail guide. I'll put a link to my blog below you can check out. Um, to see, I think I posted 99 different pictures of the uh, section hike that I did. And I had a really good time, of course, apart from being um, sick. So unfortunately, as you will discover in the blog, I had to cut the last day uh, short. I decided to, to bail out um, and go home a little early because I just was exhausted and not feeling good. But uh, in spite of that, I really um, am very happy with the way things are working when I'm on the trail. It just seems like everything works like clockwork, like everything just... I'm finding more and more little things to improve on that. But okay, I'm already rambling. I'm sure you want to just get to the gear, yeah? So. All right, uh, I'll start with the big one. Uh, I recently put up a uh, comparison of all my backpacks, which uh, was uh, pretty popular uh, popular on my blog. And I did a video showing off the new pack. I had not yet used it. Well, now I have on a three-day trip, and it performed uh, excellently. It's the Z-Pack Zero, and here it is. Um, with the, and the hip belt pocket too. I'll also talk about that. I'm very happy with the way that performed. But all in all, um, I really I really love this pack. It's a great pack. Um, I'm going to eat the, I think it's like 90 some gram, you know, heavier difference from my old Zero. I'm happy to uh, take that penalty because all the little features on it actually made uh, a, a difference you know, to me. I actually, almost regretted when I got it. I thought, oh, the top straps, will I really use those? But I found them to be, I use those quite a lot. And doing laundry on the trail, when you have uh, dirty socks and you clean them and you want to dry them off, I found it much more convenient to put, put like dirty clothing or whatever on the top straps rather than on, on top of the pack because then I can get in and out of my pack easier without having to remove clothing that's drying up there. And uh, yeah, that worked out great. The front pocket, which is um, rather than mesh, I did a custom uh, hybrid Cuban, Cuban uh, pocket, and it is phenomenal. It's much bigger. It's I I can open it and look inside and find exactly what I'm looking for. It's one small complaint I had for my old custom uh, hybrid uh, front pocket for my other older Zero is that I would have to kind of scramble around to find things I couldn't really see inside. Then again, I did get it in all black. Maybe that has something to do with it. The, this color is a little bit more translucent with light, but uh, aside from that, the, the, the pocket is great. It's, and it's so big. If I want to, I could put so much more in there. I actually added more weight, more luxury weight, uh, to the pack just to see how it performed. I brought heavy luxury food, food like fresh fruit. I brought a book to read. Now let's talk about the new straps, which I mentioned I was impressed by in my other video. And I can tell you that they're not just nice to look at, that they also, um, they do distribute the weight um, better and like the, all over your body. You can feel the hip, the um, shoulder pads kind of hug, not just your shoulders, but around kind of your chest. And I actually could feel like the pressure kind of be distributed like around. It was... Um, it was interesting to feel like these, these subtle little differences in the weight being dis distributed. And uh, while I hike, I always I will change up the tension on my shoulder straps and the hip belt and the sternum strap frequently depending on the situation. If it's just flat, easy hiking, then I'll usually um, 
I'll loosen up the shoulder straps and sternum straps and put the weight on the hips and let like kind of air space go in the back there and let it hang back. Uh, when I'm doing some scrambling uphill or downhill, of course, I'll strap everything really tight so it hugs my body. It's kind of an extension of my body. And I noticed, though, that even after the trip, uh, I was um, noticeably less, you know, like sore on my shoulders. And, uh, uh, yeah, during the trip itself, I was very happy with how it rode. It just, you know, was... Yeah, it was great. And I, I had high expectations, too. I, I'm, I'm pretty critical, so... Uh, I had high expectations, and the high expectations were actually slightly exceeded. The little, the little nice things on the pack. Let me get to the hip belt. So the hip belt, yeah? I had also a little bit of, like, initial regret. I thought, oh, you know, uh, will it ride okay on just a... Rather than a padded belt, I have just a webbing belt. As you can see, it's just like a thin strap of nylon. Will it ride okay? It, it rode fine, it rode great, no problems there. Will I be able to open it and all that? Because it's a new design. I have the older design, which has a, kind of a top closure with a with a, a buckle. Actually, I like that one too. And, um, but this one I also like. Uh, I think I, I, if I had to choose, I like this one slightly better because it's easier to access things. Um, and I think it might even be slightly bigger, but I'm not sure about that. But anyway, I also really like that on the side here, if you can see, I have a uh, mini carabiner there. And what's nice is I clip my wallet or my and my um, camera, the one what, what I'm filming on right now. Actually, let me show you here without knocking the camera over. I have a um, some string here attached to the camera. And I actually attached that. It's very strong. It's like the the I had some leftover Z Packs line from when I got my Hexaman, and um, I used that to attach it to my hip belt pocket. And I actually uh, this is the first time I did this. Normally I'll just like take a picture and you know put it back in the pocket. And sometimes I'll have it around my neck. But I thought you know there's been times where I've almost dropped the camera so I thought okay I'll clip it to the side and I actually dropped my camera and it did its job uh, it did not hit the ground I was able to you know make a save with the, with the cord so the fact that I can attach my wallet and camera to the side here is very convenient and um, yeah I and I definitely only need one uh, as I said in my other video I'm the kind of person that when I'm on the trail I don't need that much and so everything that I need fits in here, uh, just fine with room to spare. In fact, I put snacks, I like granola bars and stuff in here without any problems. Now, speaking of on the trail, like needs, um, in the past I've used a shoulder pouch. You'll notice there's no shoulder pouches on here. And honestly, that was a reluctant decision. I think they're okay, but I prefer not to use them. But I incorporated them into my system before and they worked out great I would have like I would never use um, anything higher than 500 milliliters uh, or half a liter of water in them uh, so it wouldn't mess up my balance or anything like that but um, I decided you know what when I got this pack I noticed that the, um, the side pockets were a little better angled so I thought let's try just using you know no let's just use the side pockets for my water bottles and it worked out great actually. Uh, so now, whenever I use this pack, I'm not going to use any shoulder pouches. I'm just going to use the water bottles, um, you know, in, in the sides and I can, you know, reach them um, with, I would say, okay, it's not the easiest. I have to reach and like pull them out. So it's a, it can be a little tricky, but it, the, it, they're very, they're held in place really well. They're very secure in those pockets. So I think it's a good trade-off. And also it's not like it's, a pain in the neck to get them. I just I reach back. It's a slightly awkward angle. I pull out the bottle, and I'm good to go. So that's another uh, feature that I'm happy with with uh, this pack. But okay, okay. Uh, I've talked quite a lot about the pack. Now uh, it's just one trip that I've taken it on for three days. Um, this will, based on this trip, uh, this will be my go-to pack uh, in the future. Um, I think that this will be the you know the pack I take on. Um, on most of my trips, so we'll see about that. But anyway, very, very happy um, with the new pack. 
Now, some little things I wanted to show off um, too that kind of are little tweaks in my in my system that I've been happy with. I recently, uh, for the very first time, went to an REI in the when I went on vacation to the U.S. and I picked up one of these pillows, a flash pillow. It uh, only weighs about 34 grams last time I weighed it, which is slightly less than my do-it-yourself uh, pillow where I stuff clothing inside to make a pillow. And um, this was very, very comfortable. My, I got, I got noticeably better, noticeably better sleep using this. And how I use it too is like deluxe. I wrap my down, uh, my down vest uh, over this pillow to have like a down feather uh, pillow, and it was that was really nice. Uh, so I'm a big fan of the pillow, and I'll be carrying that in the future. Uh, it's uh, it was it was crazy to me to, uh, to think that it actually weighed slightly less than like just a sack, you know. But yeah, really happy with that. Now, speaking of sacks, I have a new little stuff sack that I came across by accident. That actually, uh, for anybody that likes to do foraging for wild edibles like mushrooms or berries or or, or leafy greens or whatever. I'm a big fan of, uh, of foraging. And I noticed in a lot of um, other uh, videos of people foraging, they have kind of like leather or canvas pouches that they attach to their, to their hip, um, either like their belt or onto their backpack. And I thought, you know, it seems like overkill. It seems like way, you know, way too, like, you know, thick and heavy for just, you know, if I want to put mushrooms or a handful of greens in there so I thought I want to be on the lookout for a lighter alternative uh, for a foraging bag and one day I was just going through I like to save uh, all like little stuff sacks um, I get and like several years ago I got a, a windbreaker and it came in this little mesh stuff sack it's just a nylon little stuff sack and I'd forgotten about it and I thought you know what this would be really great and then I turn around, or I turn it around, I notice that there is actually a clip here. I'm not really sure why they would put a clip on a windbreaker bag, but there's a little clip here, so it actually clips perfectly onto my, my hip belt. I replace the, um, the uh, cordage with some nice guy line and a little uh, shock, uh, or what do you call it, uh, cord lock. And um, it, worked, it worked out great. I got to use it on my last trip. Got to put some mushrooms in there and it's great to have both hands to work with. So if I have my knife and I want to clean up the mushroom or whatever, I can drop it in this. I could if I wanted to. I tried it out in different locations like on my sternum strap, on my shoulder pad, but it, actually I liked it best on my on my hip belt. So that was a nice little uh, extra that I brought with me for a grand total of eight grams. So that is, uh, I think for me, for somebody that likes to collect those, um, or harvest those things, that is, that is um, eight wonderful little grams to have. Now, in another video I went through a lot of my small little baggies and stuff sacks that I have and I actually um, decided to combine my first aid kit and my repair kit because I never, well not never, I rarely rarely ever use either of those things, the first aid and the repair. And so I got a Z-Pax um, Hybrid Cuban uh, zip pouch. Uh, this is the larger size one. And I put it all in there. And um, it's in the bright orange color. I requested that the orange color in case like if I'm with somebody and I, it's just easy to get the, bright, get the bright orange bag, you know. Or I could use it of course for signaling or whatever like that. But yeah, so I I mean, I'm happy with it, but I didn't even use it at all on my last trip. I, like I said, I rarely use um, first aid or um, repair stuff, but I think it's nice to have too because it's also like it's flatter, so it like slides in perfectly into my front pocket, and I just throw it in there and pretty much forget about it. And it, t it takes up very little space, and it's nice too that it's very very water resistant, so I don't have to worry about that. And of course, the the pocket itself is water resistant. It's kind of like the first aid stuff and repair stuff is double protected. So there's that. And then I tested out another uh, new ground sheet. And this is actually the uh, SOL uh, space blanket. 
like kind of, it's kind of like an upgraded space mic and I've heard a lot of good things about it but they don't sell them here where I live in Sweden so when I was on vacation I picked uh, one up I cut it in half and it actually was like the perfect size for my my bivy and I like that it has some added benefits to it aside because I'm in the past I've been using just like a garbage bag a plastic garbage bag which is very tough and I would replace them like once a year I um, this one seems to be more durable, but of course with time that will tell and I also I like that it's like more multi-purpose if there's some kind of a You know crazy emergency and I need to have like, you know uh, the the warmth of the space blanket I could use it for that and also for you know an emergency situation There's signaling, you know, because it's again orange just like the first aid kit easy to identify and I also found like just like lying around my office a perfect little plastic baggie to put it in and I don't know why I didn't think about this before this is one of those things it's like you know like why didn't I do this earlier um, but I now put my ground cover inside this little baggie to keep the inside of my hip belt pocket cleaner I actually got annoyed because I had to like empty out like pine needles from my hip belt pocket before uh, and that's because I just secured my my last ground cover with just like a a twisty tie or like a it's actually a, a hair twisty tie I stole from there. Here's one right now actually I can show you like one of these right which works great because it doesn't like it's not as abrasive as like a rubber band uh, and anyway that worked it worked well but you know it, it didn't prevent things from getting dirty so little things like that are nice little tweaks um, to have but those are just some little things I wanted to go over of course the big thing is the backpack and um, yeah I'm really looking forward to putting some more kilometers on that bag. So far this year I have now officially hiked over 500 kilometers and uh, it's been great. So looking forward to hiking more, finishing the E1 trails, starting the Kungsleden trails and I hope that uh, yeah that this uh, is helpful and that you enjoyed of course gear 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 that's always going to be very popular but yeah thanks for watching and goodbye.